Welcome back to another Premier League prediction show. It is time for week eight. Of Already. course, last week there was no yeah. Premier League programme, but everybody knows that because of the passing of Queen Elizabeth II and everything. And, everything. and this week we've got seven fixtures to predict. Hopefully we'll do be better than we've been doing this season because Rubbish. we have been absolutely atrocious so far on with our prediction but somebody who hasn't been atrocious is Louis Smith 17 who is top of the leaderboard on 71 points let's see if we can uh, all catch him up but for now let's make some predictions and get down to business Okay, so first up, we have got Villa against Southampton. Now, Villa it, languishing in 17th place. Not the greatest of runs, is it, for them? They did get that draw against uh, Man City on the 3rd of September, didn't they? Uh, so it's, a, it's just a bit... Mm. And then Southampton, so patchy form again. I really don't know what to say for this one because I don't rate what Southampton been doing recently. A 1-1 one -one draw. 1-1 one -one draw, yeah. I think it will be a tight match, however, at home at Aston Villa. OK, they've only won once this season, which was against Everton at home. Uh, that was a 2-1 scoreline. I think this will end up 2-1 to Villa as well. Um, a decent result against Manchester City last time out. They've had time to regroup. Gerrard... People are saying he's under a little bit of pressure yeah. there. I'm not sure from the local press or anything if that's that's true. He, he speaks well in front of the camera and everything in his press conferences. But uh, I think they should have enough just against the Southampton team. Ollie Watkins up front may cause that, uh, that Southampton rear guard a few problems. Moving on to the next fixture, we've got the two promoted clubs in Nottingham Forest coming up against Fulham. Fulham have been in impressive form this season. I think Mitrovic has scored something like yeah, in his last like five. Top scorer. Yeah, he is second top scorer. He scored in the last, last five fixtures, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Nottingham Forest, with all their players, they're still kind of bedding in. Spurs beating Fulham last time out in that all London affair. Nottingham Forest, three defeats now on the bounce. They Difficult really, fixtures, however they should have yeah, beaten Bournemouth. They were 2-0 really up in that fixture, but to, in this one I think there will be goals again. It uh, is at the City ground. I don't think I, I don't expect Forrest to lose this one. I'm going to go for Desmond's 2-2. Interesting. Yeah, I can't see Forrest losing this one either, but I think it's going to be a lot closer, closer than people expect, especially with how impressed I've been with Fulham mm. this season. So I'm going to go 1-1. Moving on to the Saturdays at midday, half past 12, we've got Wolves against Man City. Now, Wolves get you know, just two losses this season, but grinding out draws and grinding out that victory against Southampton last time around. And then Manchester City there, well, Erling Haaland's what an absolute absolute beast isn't he um, or no losses in their last six so yeah fully expect Man City with this one 3-1 yeah well they're currently playing Borussia uh, Dortmund at the time of recording we are recording this on a Wednesday evening Manchester City coming up against Wolves last season the same fixture they absolutely smashed yep. this Wolves side 5-1 I don't think it'll be quite um, a con an, as a convincing win as that one but I do expect them to come away with a clean sheet this Wolves team in scoring goals how many have they got this season um, three in the league but they're not conceded many either so I'm going to go for a 2-0 away victory to the citizens then we move on to the only three o'clock on Saturday terrible come on sort it out Premier League that's when football is supposed to be played we got Newcastle against Bournemouth Newcastle impressive but they're not actually winning many games they've only won once this season for all their um, good play but I do expect them to uh, yeah. win this one and I think they're going to win comfortably okay Bournemouth have had a little bit of resurgence after getting thumped 9-0 away against Liverpool drawing 0-0 against Wolves at home and a, a very good comeback win against the Cherry uh, against Nottingham Forest but I think Newcastle are going to take all three points and I'm going to go for a 3-0 victory to uh, Newcastle in. yeah I've gone exactly the same yeah. as you but I think with Newcastle they've had this time now um, they are grinding out good results not losing games and I think this is going to be a thrashing 4-0 and 
Isak as well settling in. Isaac, yeah. Oh, what, Alexander Isaac, what yeah. a player he, he is. He is a good player. What a player. People say he's going to get all the goals. I don't think he's been that prolific in his career so far, but he, he, he is a threat up front, isn't mm, he? He, he? is. Yeah, but he gets the assists, mm. he gets the play generated, you know? But anyway, moving on to the half past five, we've got Spurs against Leicester. Now, Brendan Rodgers saved for another week, but the trend is going to continue for me. What's going to happen in this one is Spurs are going to win 2 0, and then that means that is Leicester's sixth match that they have lost in a row, meaning that, like a Craig Shakespeare, like with Claudio <laughs> Ranieri and like with Claude Puel, Brendan Rodgers getting sacked. You reckon this is the weekend? This is him. the weekend, sixth in a row. Leicester owners, they always do it. We'll we'll see, we'll see. But um, Spurs losing two 0 against Sporting Lisbon in the uh, the Champions, Champions League. Well. Really it was because it was nil nil up until what was the ninety first minute yeah. or ninetieth minute, something like that. And then yeah, they threw it away. They they did away from home. A draw out there in Portugal would have been good, but however they didn't. I think they will bounce back in this one. Leicester can see goals, but they're also scoring. I'm going to go for. I was thinking narrower, but I'm going to go for a three one victory to Spurs. Yeah. Then we move on to Sunday fixtures. Twelve. 12 o'clock, we've got Brentford coming up against Arsenal. The only London game in the Premier League to go ahead this weekend, and we know why that is. Brentford, Arsenal. Brentford, very good last season yeah. in, in this fixture, beating Arsenal 2 0. But Arsenal, they've you know they, they, they've really gelled well this season okay they lost their last fixture against Manchester United who were on a, a bit of a resurgence themselves. I think there'll be goals in this one. But I think Arsenal will just nick it 2-1. Interesting. I've gone for a 2-1 Arsenal win as well. Yep. But I have been extremely impressed in particular with Ivan Tony from oh, Brentford's yeah. just hat-trick scoring goals There's left, a lot right and centre, generating. A lot of people calling him for um, an England call-up. Mm. Although I think they've got some tough fixtures. I think they're playing Germany, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, I can't, I can't see it from at the moment. But that's England. No one... Well, we don't mention them. Any, we don't talk about England on this channel and you know why. Um, but yeah, Arsenal... With a good form that they've had. Yes, they did lose that match against Manchester United, but at the end of the day, they're on a resurgence and Arsenal they could have they're gonna have stumbles at uh, some point. So I'm gonna go for a two one Arsenal victory in this one. And finally we've got Everton West Ham, bottom of the table well, pretty much bottom of the table clash. Everton drawing everything in mankind's existence, might well not playing particularly well. And then West Ham not so good themselves either, but they've had some difficult fixtures. <laughs> To be fair to them, don't know what to say really. If I'm honest, I was thinking about a draw, just because of Everton, how many they've drawn recently. But I'm going to back West Ham one nil. One nil. Yeah, if this could go either way, I think it will be a tale of I can't two see Everton winning. Well, Everton's defence this season, okay, they're not scoring. I think they've only scored was it four times this season. And I believe West they Ham failed to three. Keep, they've also failed to win. Yeah. And I believe they failed to keep a clean sheet as well. Um, well, no, Liverpool haven't. in that Merseyside derby, wasn't it? I think this yeah. is going to end up nil-nil as well. Um, not the greatest game, this one, if you're in attendance. It might be a classic, though, mightn't it? But I'm going to go for a nil-nil draw in this fixture as well. And that concludes our predictions for week eight of this Premier League season. Nathan, um, tell me what, what's happening this weekend. There's going to be any vlogs, any watch-longs. So, kind of playing um, Huddersfield this weekend, we decided not to go to that one, even though we need to get our allocation up, which mm -hmm. is quite unfortunate. Um, still can't get over the uh, ticketing for that one. That's a different story anyway. I'm not sure if there's going to be a live stream for that, and there's Wales content next week. Fantastic. Make sure you leave your predictions over at the Superbrew Super website. Brew. There is a link in the description and uh, the, the league code as well. I may even put it up on the screen for you. Uh, follow me on TikTok as well if you can. Love have some have a bit of a laugh. And you're on there as well, but you haven't posted in no, a while. Mate. But uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, thanks for joining us once again. Enjoy your Premier League weekend and we'll see you all in yeah, the I next video. Be, be great. Yeah, I just wanna be great. Yeah, I just wanna be great. Yeah.